If you want to learn how to sew a bodysuit just like this, keep watching. To sew this, you need the following items. And if you find the video to be too fast, you can change the playback speed. The first thing I did was to fold my fabric in half like this. I suggest that you use fabric that stretches four ways in order to make this bodysuit. I really like the fit of this crop top, so I folded this one in half and I placed the fold of the crop top on the fold of the fabric. I then used my tailor's chalk to trace around the crop top. And once that was done, I used my ruler and French curve to straighten the lines. I also added a half inch allowance around all parts of my top. With that being done, I was able to cut along the lines that I drew to create the first part of my crop top. I got the most funny comment on one of my Instagram reels about this rotary cutter. What's the name of the fabric pizza cutter? And I feel like that's so creative because this is exactly how pizza cutters look. But you can always get this on Amazon or you could get this exact one on streamer.com. Now it's time to shape up the front of the crop top. But I'm doing this by taking off a half of an inch off of the shoulder and then I lined up the neckline of my crop top with the neckline of this fabric so I was then able to use my French curve to draw a smooth line and that smooth line served as a guide that I was able to cut on. So now I have a front piece and a back piece. The next step is to cut out some pieces for the bottom of the bodysuit. And to do that, I am using these biker shorts that I really like. And I'm achieving that by drawing lines around the shorts and then cutting along those lines. Of course, I added a half inch seam allowance around all parts of this. I did the same thing with the bottom of the bodysuit by using the first piece as the pattern for the second piece. However, I am extending this part of it by two inches and that will be the crotch extension. Now with that being done, I am drawing another curved line to blend back in with the original curved line. And I also used my ruler to draw a line coming down to the hem of the shorts. Now I have four pieces for the shorts of the bodysuit and two pieces for the top of the bodysuit. Here I am cutting a notch into my fabric to indicate the center front and center back of both pieces for the top of the bodysuit. I pinned along the center front and center back of the shorts portion of this bodysuit and I'm now going to take it to the sewing machine and stitch along. I'm using a zigzag stitch here with a stitch length of 2 and a stitch width of 4 with my needle being all the way to the left of the presser foot. What the zigzag stitch does is that it allows you to maintain the stretch of your fabric. Now this is a step that I forgot to do earlier, which is to cut out the sleeves, but I only had a small amount of fabric left. Therefore, I had to make it work. I really did, because this really was not enough. And as a result, I ended up cutting the sleeves the exact size as they are on this top, which I should have actually cut them with seam allowance, but it still worked anyway since this fabric stretches a lot. And by the way, I'm using spandex. To trace the sleeves of your top, you want to fold your fabric and then put the fold of the sleeve on the fold of the fabric. If you have more fabric than I do, which I really hope you do, you can trace in the same way but then add a half inch seam allowance around all of the sides except the fold of course but now that that's done i was able to cut the sleeve from my fabric shout out to the following patrons for being a part of my exclusive sewing community if you want your name to pop up on the screen just like this join my patreon so this is what my sleeves are looking like. 
I'm going to sew along the shoulder seams with a half inch allowance and I'll be using a zigzag stitch. With that being done, I'm able to place the sleeves on top of the seams. I took this to my sewing machine and I stitched once more with a zigzag stitch that had a width of four millimeters and a length of two millimeters. Don't those zigzag stitches look gorgeous? So I measured from my shoulder down to my natural waistline, which is where the arch in my back is the deepest. And you want to do the same for yourself. And that's going to give you the length of your top. But you want to add at least a half of an inch to that. I cut away about a quarter of an inch off the out seam of my shorts pieces. And that's so that it would be able to match the top. Once that was done, I was able to match the pieces successfully. So I put them right sides together like this, and I put a pin in the center and a pin on the sides. I was able to then take this to the sewing machine, sew it with a half inch allowance, just like we've been doing this whole time. And this is what it now looks like. If you're liking this tutorial so far, I want you to type I can't wait to make this bodysuit in the comments. Here I have my bodysuit right sides together. I stitched along the side seams again with the same settings as before. I backstitch at the beginning and I backstitch at the end. The next step is to sew the inseam of the bodysuit and I did that by matching the front crotch seam and the back crotch seam together and sew that with a half inch allowance at my sewing machine. I wanted my bodysuit to be a little bit shorter so I folded it back in half and I am now taking off the amount that I want to come off of it. The next step is to hem the legs, the armholes and the neckline of this bodysuit and in order to do that I am using a twin needle. I tested this needle out on a scrap piece of fabric to make sure that it's stitched properly. And it is giving. I folded the raw edge of the shorts up by one inch and I pinned them into place. And because of how the twin needle is, I am stitching on the right side of the fabric instead of the wrong side of the fabric. Because the wrong side of a twin needle stitch is a zigzag stitch that you don't want to be on the top layer. Along with the twin needle, I used a straight stitch. And my stitch length was four. By the way, if you want to buy something on Singer.com, you can use my code GABBY10 in order to get a 10% discount on your order of over $100. I find that using a longer stitch length with twin needles gives you more stretch to your fabric. And the greatest thing about a twin needle is that your fabric still stretches even though it's a straight stitch. And that's because there's a zigzag stitch at the back of your fabric. In order to backstitch, I switched my stitch length to zero and I stitched a couple of times and as a result, my sewing machine pretty much just stitched in the same spot. So I repeated the same steps for the armhole and the neckline, except instead of folding it down by one inch, I folded it down by a half of an inch. this is what the result of the twin needle looks like. This looks so professional. I love it so much. You can never tell that I used a home sewing machine to do this. To get my bodysuit looking way better, I took my iron and I pressed all of the hems that I just stitched. If you like this video, you might also like this one.